Happy birthday to Jameer and Miss Marina's room and Caitlin and Mr. Rika's room who will also be celebrating alongside Mr. Rika because it's her birthday too. On Saturday, happy birthday to Gabby and Nicholas and Mr. Janice's class and Liam and Mr. Henning's room. On Sunday, happy birthday to Leah and Miss Schweitzer's room and Lucas and Miss Bauer's room and Miss Bauer's class. Stay tuned for the core value announcement about perseverance. Our big idea is perseverance, and the animal is the caribou. Caribou have to maintain perseverance to survive and endure life in the Arctic. They have many impressive adaptations to help them survive, including large antlers, a trait that makes them similar to reindeer. Today in history, May 13th, 1950, in Saginaw, Michigan, a man named Steveland Hardaway Morris is born. He became known as Stevie Wonder. He was one of six children. He was known professionally as Stevie Wonder and became an American singer, songwriter, and musician. He is credited as a pioneer and influence by musicians across a range of genres that include rhythm and blues, pop, soul, gospel, funk, and jazz. He was a virtual one-man band, and his use of synthesizers and other electronic musical instruments during the 1970s reshaped the conventions of R&B music. Blind since shortly after his birth, Wonder was a child prodigy. Stevie Wonder stated that he wasn't born blind. A major cause of his blindness was an overabundance of oxygen he experienced as an infant while in an incubator in the hospital. This was an accident on the part of the hospital, which coupled with being six weeks premature resulted in Stevie Wonder becoming permanently blind. By the age of nine, he had already learned to play the piano, drums, and harmonica. By the age of 11, he signed with Motown's label, where he was given the professional name, Little Stevie Wonder. In 1963, he wrote and sang the single Fingertips, and it was a number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100. And that was only when he was age 13. This made him the youngest artist ever to top the chart. Wonder's critical success was at its peak in the 1970s, and he began his commercial period in the 1980s. He achieved his biggest hits and his highest level of fame, had increased album sales, charity participation, and high-profile collaborations, including Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. He had political impact, television appearances, and so much more. Wonder has continued to remain active in music and political causes. He is one of the best-selling musical artists of all time, with sales of over 100 million records worldwide. He has won 25 Grammy Awards, which is the most by a solo artist, and has won Academy Award for the Best Original Song. Wonder has been inducted into the Rhythm and Blues Music Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and Songwriters Hall of Fame. He is also noted for his work as an activist for political issues, including his 1980 campaign to make Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday a federal holiday in the United States. In 2009, he was named a United Nations Messenger of Peace, and in 2014, he was honored with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Happy birthday, Stevie Wonder. Hey, good morning, Bearsville. It's Fun Friday, and we have another one of our adults here. Uh, let's see if you can figure out who this adult is. I will share with you that this adult works in kindergarten. So we have some clues and then of course we have some pictures. Uh, this is when she was a baby picture up here in the corner. And then this adult, when she was younger, she took a lot of dance. 
Um, she took dance from the time she was three until she was 14 years old. So 11 years of dance. And then this is her kindergarten picture. So the other clues that we have, she has a husband, Alex. She has a daughter, Mackenzie, who's 12 years old, and a son, Mason, who's 10. She has a dog named Oakley, a cat, Delilah, and a guinea pig, Ella. This person, she loves the beach. That's her favorite place. She also likes baseball and watching her son play. Her son plays for the Hanover Rampage. And then this person is an Orioles and Ravens fan. And then this person has lived in Maryland her whole life until this year. Then they moved to Pennsylvania. And it's her first year here at Bearsville. So do you know who it is? Hmm. Lock in those guesses. And our answer is... This is Mrs. Buckingham. Mrs. Buckingham is in Mrs. Small's room. So you can see uh, here are her kids and with their dog, uh, her cat Delilah in the middle here. This is uh, her family picture here. Looks like they're at the beach and then looks like a baseball picture. That is one big trophy. And then her guinea pig. So when you see Mrs. Buckingham today for Fun Friday, Make sure that she knows that we are glad that Mrs. Buckingham is here at Bearsville. With that, we hope that everyone has a wonderful, fun Friday, and we can't wait to see you next week. Let's end today's announcements by remembering the star expectations. Today and every day, strive to do your best. Take responsibility for your actions. Always be safe. Respect people and property. Have a great day, Bearsville! Now please stand for the playing of the national anthem followed by the Pledge of Allegiance.